I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The utter simplicity of the gospel, and why it's so complicated. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's in every available platform. And donate your tax-deductible gift Keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And the kids of today need this gospel in these dark times. Friday, I'd like to take a look at something and highlight something from the Bible study for the week. Remember, we have Bible study every single solitary day, uh, 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time, streamed live on Facebook, but it's also available on YouTube. Um, I want to take a look at one single verse that we had earlier this week. Amen, amen, I say to you, says Jesus in John 6, verse 47, those who believing, those who believe, have eternal life. To believe in Jesus, to believe that he died and rose again, is to have eternal life. It's just that simple. To believe that Jesus died and rose again for you, that he lived his life for you and died your death, is to have eternal life. Apart from Jesus, no life. But in Jesus, life eternal. It's complicated. It's beyond imagination. That is so simplistic. Not those believing in Jesus and doing a bunch of good works, have eternal life. Not those believing in Jesus and submitting to his will, those believing in Jesus and being a better person, those believing in Jesus and committing their life to him, those believing in Jesus and making him the Lord of their life. Not those things. Simple, those believing in Jesus have eternal life. It's that simple. Everything about us fights this reality. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. How can salvation be located only in believing that God sent his son to die for us? How can that be when religion, everybody knows, is what you do and don't do, that your good outweighs your bad, that God helps those who help themselves, um, that, you, that you try hard and you struggle and then you end up on the other side, maybe. And Jesus says simply, If you believe in me, you have eternal life. And you could and just live in that simplicity. Just rejoice in that simplicity. Amen, amen, I say to you, the one believing has life. See, God doesn't want to leave anything up to you and me. To do so is to, is to utterly and completely fail. The law came through Moses, and we know how that went. Grace and truth comes through Jesus. So the truth of God, um, the truth of God is that in Jesus, in the forgiveness of sins, in the suffering and death of Christ, you have eternal life. You, even you, have eternal life. That's the simplicity of the gospel, that a person believes in Jesus and they live forever. And if they don't, well, they don't. But you believe in Jesus. You believe that he died and rose again for you. So when the devil comes and taunts you and says that you're a bad person, Know for certain, without doubt, that in Jesus, even you, a bad person, are saved. Me too. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.